now uh, before uh, uh, after the presentation is over i'll just go to some of the uh, uh, websites or some of the tools that are uh, we will be talking about and i'll show you if the time permits so let us start i'll share my presentation can you see my screen yes yes ma'am you can see the presentation yes, right mm -hmm. yes ma'am mm -hmm. Uh, is it just slide changing? I'm just checking. Yes, yes. Ah, thank you. Okay. So, uh, uh, we will be dealing with uh, the subject specific tools, and in that, for uh, for the beginning, at the beginning, I will just try to uh, discuss about a few things that are required for uh, uh, for the understanding of creation of e-content, or rather, integration of ICT into teaching learning. Kindly mute yourself, please. Somebody's uh, microphone is on. Kindly mute, mute yourself. Uh, so, uh, some of the questions that are very important to deal with or to understand before, uh, you know, creation of e-content is that, uh, what is that we want to do? It? Why do we do want to do it? And for whom we want to do it and how we would like to do it. So these are some of the four questions that are very important to understand for anybody who is trying to integrate uh, ICT into teaching learning or uh, trying to create e-content. So the first question is, what is the purpose of it? So what means, what is the purpose of creation of e-content? Or what is the purpose of integ uh, integration of ICT? So uh, here I would like to make it clear that uh, integration of ICT is a broader term and creation of e-content comes within the broader term of um, integration of ICT into teaching learning. So ICT, integration of ICT into teaching learning is a broad term within which we uh, have the section of creation of e-content. So what is the purpose of it? What is a theme or topic that we are going to cover? And then conceptualization, how to go about, that is very important. The second question is, why do we want to do it? So the need or purpose for uh, in, uh, creation of e-content or integration of ICT is uh, important to understand. And the advantage, what is advantage over, uh, its advantage over traditional way of teaching learning. So it is very important to understand. Uh, now, uh, for whom do we want to uh, integrate ICT or create a content? So the target group or the target audience is very important. We need to understand what is the target group. Is it uh, you know, young children or uh, you know, uh, children of secondary stage or uh, higher secondary stage or children belonging to a particular social group? or a particular area, rural area or urban area or semi-urban or semi-rural kind of background or which language they speak because it is very important. Suppose we have created an e-content um, an e and it is in English, but the target, the children for which we want to uh, use that is uh, they speak some other language or maybe Hindi or some other language, you know, Malayalam or uh, uh, Garo, Khasi, anything, anything, Assamese. So it will be difficult for them to understand. So it is uh, always better to have an idea of the target group or the target audience for which, for whom we are trying to integrate ICT or we are trying to con uh, create e-content. Uh, now, how do we go? Uh, how are we going to do it? So this is also very important. So the type of resources or e-content is very important to understand that uh, what kind of resources we are going to create for higher uh, for children uh, or the students for, uh, for higher classes uh, we can have you know uh, more of text more of content but for children of lower classes lower stages it is important to make it, it is important to engage them in a different manner so storytelling something related to storytelling animation etc puppet using puppets etc uh, can be really helpful so uh, Related to that is the tool that we'll be, we will be using for different uh, kind of resources or e-content. Sorry, different uh, types of tools will be used. 
now this these were the four questions that were very, very uh, were important to understand they were that were important uh, to be taken care of while we are creating any e content now uh, suppose that now we have understood the conceptualization and that those four questions are important for integration of ict or creation of e content for any sub any subject not just for social sciences now these are the some of the general things that i am telling you you must have uh, some of you must be knowing about cpac model or maybe all of you must be knowing about it it is the uh, model to show integration of technology or uh, or et and ict into teaching learning so th this model shows that anybody who is creating an e content should have three types of knowledges uh, one is uh, technical uh, technological knowledge second is content knowledge third is pedagogical knowledge and the combination of these three kinds of knowledge is what re is required for creation of e content uh, uh, with respect to anybody that is who is creating so uh, one needs to have technological knowledge basic technological knowledge you need not be you know it uh, specialist uh, it professional but basic some of the basic knowledge that we, that you are going through right how to create a video content how to create an Uh, audio content, how to create an e-text, how to create, you know, some kind of infographic. All these things, little bit of, you know, uh, technical knowledge you need to have. Then you definitely need to have uh, content knowledge. It is very important to have a content knowledge. Otherwise, things can be factually wrong. So, uh, though our uh, aim is to, uh, you know, uh, give provide quality content or to help the student learners to understand, but if uh, our content knowledge is poor we won't be able to do that effectively because what we are going going to teach or what we are going to create will be factually wrong then uh, third one is pedagogical knowledge so pedagogy is very important to understand uh, how we are going to deliver a particular content so for children of uh, young age or those who are in the lower stages of education for them story based you know fun based pedagogy is more uh, is used uh, because they are able to understand in a much better manner and as we go, go higher in the order or higher in the stages of education the uh, amount of uh, information given will increase gradually and uh, these things can be reduced a bit so uh, uh, this model depicts uh describes kinds of knowledge required by teachers for successful integration of technology in teaching learning right uh let's move to this this is just a you know a uh, simple uh, mind map that shows or a flow chart you can say what are the types of e content that you can create it can be in the form of e text image graph chart map diagram audio video interactives infographic etc so anything of this sort in a electronic medium in electronic form is called e content so uh, earlier we used to have image you know hard copy we used to have text hard copy uh, on a paper so that was uh, text and now in a, uh, when it is in the electronic form it is called e text or e content similarly we used to have graph we used to have chart we used to have map uh, image etc uh in a hard copy form on a paper and when it is converted in an electronic form it is called e content or e chart e graph likewise so these are some of the types of e content you must have uh, gone through all these things in your previous session i'm just trying to recapitulate a bit that uh, what you have gone through now uh, this is one of the type of uh, e content and this is uh, infographic and it shows the importance of himalayas uh, so uh, just for an example i have created this, uh, this with a, a tool called easily and it is an online tool and it is used for creation of uh, uh, infographic and this lots of templates are there for different purposes and this uh, 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 suppose i am trying to uh, make uh, take a session or trying to make the learners understand about what himalayas is and what is what are the importance of himalayas So instead of just writing down the bullet points or uh, showing them bullet points, I have just created this infographic and try uh, uh, so that I can make it interesting for them to 
pay attention or me make it, uh, I, uh, so that it is interesting for them to understand or to uh, go through the importance of himalayas and they can pay attention for a longer duration of time so uh, this is just an example that i am showing you it can be of any any sort uh, such e content can be of any sort uh, now uh this is uh, after going through some of the questions that we have to deal with and then uh, the ppac model and the types of uh, uh, e content that we can create and an example that was shown by me this is the model which is generally used for creation of development of e content and this is called the adi model any of you must be knowing about it so adi stands for a starts for uh, stands for analysis D stands for design. D another D stands for develop, and then I stands for implement, and E stands for evaluate. So these are the five uh, um, uh, things that are uh, required to uh, or the stages through which we go through uh, development of e content. Uh, in analysis, we generally analyze that what is the need or requirement or participants' current capabilities, etc. In design, we try to uh understand the learning objectives delivery format activities and, and exercises etc develop uh we actually develop or create a prototype and then develop a, a, a new content then implement means uh, training uh, implementation tools etc then evaluate uh, and we try to understand how uh, from the behavior of the learners or the uh, receivers that how uh, have uh, how what is the you know how, how they have understood how much they have understood and uh, how uh, whether they, that has created uh, that has contributed in their knowledge or not so for example uh, suppose take it take a very small example you know simple example i have created this presentation that i am showing it to you and this is in the form of e content that is also this is also a e content so i analyzed uh, uh, and uh, i thought i, I uh, in, in the beginning i asked what is the what should be the language of my session and all i have created this presentation in english and because uh, uh, that this is generally uh, easily understood by a majority of the people in india from different uh, uh, states so uh, i have created this uh, presentation in english language then uh, depending upon the need and requirement and the participants uh, capabilities and then i have designed it i have created actually i have analyzed and what what to, what all things i should include and all uh, then i have developed this i have actually prepared this presentation and then uh, now i am implementing it i am trying to use this for my session so i am implementing it on new people and then i'll try to evaluate at the end by asking few questions or maybe uh, uh, trying to understand from your feedback that what whether you have uh, understood or not or whether do you have any uh, confusion or any uh, questions related to it so uh, this model can be understood with the help of this you know a simple example that i gave you right everybody is trying uh, is understanding what i'm trying to say a quick quick uh, response from all of you i require Yes, yes ma'am. Ma uh, because this afternoon yeah. time, and all of us had uh, lunch, so <laughs> some of we, uh, some of us uh, must be a bit drowsy, maybe. So just to have a quick, uh, you know, uh, pep up, pepping up session uh, to uh, get the answers from you. Okay, so uh, these are some of the uh, uh, social science tools that I have been using or I have explored, and uh, there are not many. Uh, other tools also but then some of these that i have explored you can go through you can explore more tools and you can use it for your uh, creation of e content uh, so first is bhuvan uh, bhuvan is an uh, uh, geo uh, in a uh, uh, geo portal uh, developed by isro uh, and uh, this contains the data the government data of gov from government on different heads for india so india ke liye jo bhi government ki taraf se data release hota hai so you can get it in on bhuvan platform uh, geo portal it is a portal a web portal and uh, kuch jo features hain they uh, you can log in and per, uh, offline bhi use kar sakte hain unko and you uh, you will be able to create maps also on this i'll just quickly go through uh, if the time is there 
then uh, uh, marble kd uh, this is uh, one of the uh, free and open source software and it is, it is developed by the kd community that creates the uh, free and open source uh, software and the name is marble and here you can have different you know uh, globe 3d uh, form of uh, uh, the earth and different maps of different you know uh, periods you can also have uh, a map of uh, maybe 14th century or uh, 18th century or something like that or nine uh, you know 19th century so uh, and you can also create your own uh, map also so there are lots of features i'll quickly go through the uh, 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 screenshots of the websites also or the tools and uh, if the time permits we can quickly go through the tools uh, themselves then you have Google Earth. Google Earth, some of us, us must have explored, and you can also uh, see you can see three D uh, you know form of the Earth uh, on this also, and uh, various other features like creation of map. Uh, then um, you already have few photographs and you know views of the Earth or various features. You can zoom in, zoom out to the street level for marble, also for Bhuvan, also street level, the uh, street view that you can zoom. But the ek -ek street you can see. Uh, of a place then qgis is again for creation of map and uh, measuring distance and uh, uh, you know um, uh, uh, this uh, street view of the place then trophy is a is a uh, uh, this uh, tool uh, you can call it as a online uh, photo library kind of thing you can store your photographs and you can also access uh, various photographs or of uh, you know uh, uh, early scriptures or books etc and this and you can store it you can make it as a as a photo library online photo library for your uh, research or for your reference so otherwise it is difficult to store lots of photographs especially for the for those teaching uh, history uh, the paintings or the you know uh, sections of those, those early books etc so you can store it here then another tool is windy.com. Uh, this is an online tool, and you can see, see the real time climatic conditions of a place uh, on this uh, the winds uh, and the direction of winds, the speed of wind, and the various uh, other climatic features. The real time, the, what is happening at, uh, in the world during this time at this particular time. Then uh, Stellarium is, an, or is a free and open source software and it can be used online, offline, it can be downloaded also. You have an app of this also. And uh, this is the virtually how the, uh, you can see the real time, uh, the celestial uh, bodies or the how the sky looks like, looks like at this particular place. Suppose I'm sitting in NCRT. So here, uh, from here, how the how will the sky look like at this particular particular time? Even during the daytime, you can see the stars. So uh, this is a, uh, interesting to look uh, at the sky during the, uh, with the help of Stellarium. Then uh, Sutori is another tool uh, that can be used for teachers uh, for uh, getting the ideas to plan a lesson, maybe or how to go about for a particular topic. So kaise uh, plan kar sakte hai ek lesson ko and uh, what all things we can use for a particular session. This may bhoat sare ideas de hai for teachers for different subjects, for different stages of uh, school uh, or education. This may bhoat sare yeh cheezein de hai. Then flydata24.com is uh, another tool where uh, you can see the real time movement of flights, the location of flights. And it is used by us, uh, you know, in general circumstances also when we are traveling. Otherwise, for travel and tourism, for, for planning of a particular place, this can be used to see the traffic that uh, a particular city uh, caters to in terms of, uh, you know, air traffic. Then there is another tool called Google Arts and Culture. Uh, the drive link that we have, the drive, Google Drive, we use in that if you click on the dots, for, uh, suppose we are, we want to open the drive, so we click on the dots that are there on the top right corner of our uh, a Gmail account. So you click on that, a drop down window will come, and then there you have lots of uh, other features, lots of other 
uh, you know uh, extensions of uh, or apps that are there so in that google arts and culture is also there you can explore it and you can find lots of photographs videos etc of different things you know of all of the world 360 uh, degree view of museum uh, you know of places you have uh, photographs of uh, paintings you have photographs of uh, uh, you know um, uh, historians um, <coughs> etc so you find lots of you know e content in that and you can use those e content for your own purpose or creating your own e content then you have google cardboard with the help of which you, there is a app and then you have to download that uh, app and then you have to you have this uh, a vr set that we get so google cardboard was the first to launch this kind of vr uh, cheap vr set it's made up of cardboard and there is a lens and you put your uh, uh, this smartphone and then uh, with the help of the app you can uh, make the virtual effect virtual reality effect using this google cardboard now you have all those sorts of uh, you know Mm, virtual sets and vr sets that you have so earlier uh, this was available for public then you have this other generic tools like audacity open shot video editor easily uh, then you have canva animation tools etc then uh, you can also create games uh, there are games given in uh, national geographic kids geo guesser google arts and culture there also you have different types of games so you can uh, take uh, you know uh, play such games educational games you can create your own games uh, on this or you can uh, you know click on this and get an idea of uh, 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 how to create games for related to educational uh, topics then you have songs on topics also so uh, for example marais and miranda uh, developed nature songs you know long back in 19 some you know 40s or 60s or so uh, so balance of nature mm. how is silk meat parts of a tree etc so on this topics songs were created and uh, you can these songs can be used for teaching learning process and you can also create your own song jaise bahut abhi chandigarh mein teachers these few has created songs on you know universe or something like that you know alag alag topics <laughs> unhone banaye hain सोशल साइंस से रिलेटेड एंड आई एम श्योर हम लोगों के जो फोक सॉन्ग्स जो हैं उनमें भी बहुत सारे ऐसे काइंडली म्यूट योर सेल्फ प्लीज समबडी इज माइक इज ऑन सो हमारे जो फोक सॉन्ग्स हैं उसमें बहुत सारे फोक सॉन्ग्स ऐसे होंगे यू जस्ट नीड टू यू नो पुट सम अटेंशन ऑन दैट जो नेचर से रिलेटेड होंगे हमारे आसपास के जो लोकल ट्रेडिशन है उससे रिलेटेड होंगे और मे बी द स्टोरीज ऑफ यू नो लोकल Uh, kings or queens or local heroes that have been there unse bhi related honge so we can use all these songs in our teaching learning process and similarly we can create our own songs also uh, based on sort of getting inspired with such uh, songs so uh, we can uh, if, we, if we can create you know some few songs on some of the topics it's very good uh, to for the children jaise hum log bachpan mein we have uh, this uh, जो वो होते हैं नर्सरी राइम्स जो होते हैं सो नर्सरी राइम्स के थ्रू वी ट्राई टू मेक चिल्ड्रन लर्न अबाउट फ्यू थिंग्स लाइक एंड एप्पल द डॉक्टर अवे और फॉर एग्जांपल ए बी सी डी यू आल्सो सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सॉन्ग वी टीच देम सो इट्स दे लर्न इट क्विकली सो विद सिमिलर थिंग कैन बी अप्लाइड फॉर लिटल चिल्ड्रन ऑफ लिटल Uh, uh, elder age group little higher age group and we can create songs on different themes so it will be really helpful for them to understand and remember the things now coming to the uh, tools this is the uh, screenshot of the bhuvan portal and it looks like this and you have this features called to uh, bhuvan 2d bhuvan 3d then you have archival data climate related data then you have other features like uh, application store in application store you have the slider e governance tourism urban rural all these you know sliders are there you just have to click on them and then you can uh, get the access of uh, the data and and the map already created maps also you can use those maps for your creation of your, your own e content then you in tourism you have uh, all the archaeological sites uh, 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 identified the by the asi 
uh, and you can access and you can get the information about it throughout then you have uh, thematic services theme based maps are there ocean services disaster management services you can create a map you have different other uh, applications like chief minister central ministries special applications uh, e governance dashboard etc state wise applications are also there now this is uh, the screenshot of marble kd uh, here you have this option of installing and you can have uh, a linux version of you know uh, app version or android version or windows version and these are some of the features that marble has you have open atlas you have uh, open street map you have satellite view globe in the form of globe or map you can you have the option to choose then you have satellite view you have the hem globe of 1492 then you have the view of earth at night then historical map of 1689 is also there plain map political map all these features are there and then uh, you can also create your own uh, version of map uh, by uh, you know customizing it as per your need so that is the beauty of free and open source softwares you can uh, use them they are not copyrighted and you can uh, you know modify the features also as per your needs then uh, this is uh, the google earth as i told you uh, these are some of the features that uh, are there and when you when you uh, click on the voyager option that you have uh, this voyager option uh, this will a window will appear and here you have this nature games lead street view culture travel etc these are some of the options and within this if you click on this we have lot many options that are so existing lots of e content are already existing you just need to take these e content and then you can create your own e content high resolution you know uh, photographs and videos are there related to various themes so you can take these videos you can screen record or you can also screen record or you can download the photographs etc and use it for creation of your own e content for example uh, suppose i uh, download uh, a few photographs of some of the museums so i want to teach something about the museum of a particular place or you know in general history um, about some you know time span of the history and i want to uh, use some of the photographs from uh, of that time span so i click on the museum and i'll just uh, see if photographs or paintings in that museum are there of that era also i uh, you know uh, into, i put some introduction and uh, or some you know background of what i want to teach today or i want to teach through my e content and then put these uh, photographs that i have gathered from this website and just give the uh, uh, source of it so that there is no copyright issue and then you can do you create your own e content or video using these photographs you can use them uh, as a flip uh, picture book also a story you know digital storytelling kind of thing also just have uh, add the narration and then you can just have the flipping of the photographs or just you know uh, one photograph second photograph third photograph and you can add narration uh, your voice over what we call it as uh, along with that so your e content is created uh then you have this qgis as i told you you can create maps on this then you have this trophy as you can see it is you can explore your research photograph photos mm. as i told you that this is the uh, you can use it as a photo library and you can store your all your photographs here then you have this windy.com uh this uh, as i told you it shows the real time climatic situation condition of any place all over the world uh, then this is stellarium you can have an online i mean web version of it or you can download it in uh, your different uh, apple or linux or windows etc then this is sutori as i told you uh, it says transform your lessons into collaborative learning experiences so you have lots of lesson plans ideas for go, you know how to deal with the a particular topic so you can take ideas from this and you can create your own e content based on these ideas and many interesting ideas that are there you can share your own idea also then uh, you have this fly flightradar24.com as i told you 
that real time flight traffic can be seen at a uh, at any place then you have google arts and culture so when you uh, as i told you when you click on these dots this drop down option will come and uh, in within that there is arts and culture so you need to click on this and this uh, window will appear it has the uh, art camera mm, explore high definition artworks then you have 360 degree videos experience culture in 360 degrees street view then uh, uh, you have artists photograph of artists you have uh, different mediums you have art movements some various uh, you know for paintings related to uh, art movements that has that uh, have existed in the past then you have historic events photograph photographs related to that and then photographs related to historical figures so these are some of the things the some of the features that are there you can explore more there are many more such things uh, available already existing you know you just need to take and utilize this uh, as for your own uh, you know creation of your own e content this is google cardboard as i told you it's a, a vr set kind of thing and you can download the app and use it in different manner then you have this uh, uh, games that i i was just talking about uh national national geographic kids it has games yeah, within this of op options you can click and you can use them uh screen record or you can take ideas from them then you have this geo guesser especially designed for geography you know knowing places uh games for knowing the places etc capitals etc so uh this is also there you can create your own game inspired by this then within google arts and culture you have uh, you know this home explore play nearby favorite so within home uh, these are some of the uh, games that are there options you can pick up any you can play you can make the uh, your students play in the classroom maybe once a month or to, uh, once in two months in computer lab or you can get ideas from these games and you can create your own game now this was some of the about some of the tools that are there uh, these are some of the uh, uh, readings that that these are some of the uh, uh, videos that are there uh, in the uh, ncert official youtube channel and then in the playlist webinar ict tools there are lots of uh, uh, videos related to some of the tools that are there for teaching learning of social science you can go through these videos these youtube links and you can explore the videos and try to understand various tools some of the tools that i have told you i have not been covered in this so uh, you can explore it otherwise also now next these are some of the suggested readings that are there and uh, uh, you can go through the ncf existing the you know the 2005 position paper on teaching of social sciences on educational technology in this one of the papers uh, that i have uh, referred as written also and i have published in one other so there are lots of you know such uh, references that you can go through and lots of papers articles related to integration of ict or creation of e content into teaching learning of social sciences right so this was the end of my uh, presentation uh, then uh, uh, what we can do is that i can so have you people understood any questions anybody has any question i have shared the presentation you can take it from your coordinator anybody has any question please things are clear yes it's clear everybody is awake right yes yes <laughs> okay sir okay so i'll quickly it's clear some of the tools that are that, that, that i have talked about and suppose i have written bhuvan i have typed bhuvan and the first one that uh, appears on your screen is this you can see my screen right Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. 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 Yes.
then you have uh, this uh, 2d bhuvan 3d bhuvan then you have okay, i'll just quickly open it suppose 3d form um, see you can zoom in zoom out you can turn around this is the white white this uh, envelope depicts the atmosphere you can make then you can you know what you can do while you are you are explaining something you can screen record your screen also and then you can make a create an e content right some of the tools that are there then 3d models that some of the 3d models are already they have uh, embedded in this you can just select from some of the available ones and you can show it to students then uh, uh, suppose i'm closing you have layers also that you can uh, incorporate here sub basin or you know uh, rivers see so I've, i clicked on rivers and the rivers are appearing on the, this globe for india then uh, suppose if i close this uh, tourism that i was talking about uh, you have archaeology right so uh, lots of archaeological uh, sites i mean sites archaeological sites are that have been identified by the asi are there you can uh, zoom in and you can click on any one of them and a little bit of information with photograph comes uh, see right so uh, sometimes we don't even realize that we are uh, living just beside some of the uh, famous archaeological sites uh, that have been identified by the uh, archaeological survey of india and you can explore here suppose this is what see kachri ruins the singha darwaza right so uh, this is there and some of the assam it is there in assam and it is in the guwahati circle and uh, this is the location so you can find and you can take your students there you can make a video out of it you can create a picture book out of it and you can uh, use it for teaching learning process because otherwise it might not be uh, possible for you to take your students to you know all these places suppose every time to you know delhi to show them uh, different uh, archaeological sites or maybe in north india uh, to show some of the archaeological sites so you can use this tool and explore you can also select from here and then suppose i'm telling uh, choosing delhi circle then uh, delhi state and then mini circle and then district suppose south east and then i have this uh, okay uh, some of the archaeological sites that are there okay so now what next is that uh, lots of features that i was talking about are here uh, then just a second hello हाँ सर सर मैं सेशन ले रही हूँ एस आर जी का सर मैं सेशन ले रही हूँ ठीक है ओके देन यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ फीचर द स्टेट वाइज एप्लीकेशन इज आल्सो देयर देन स्लाइडर्स ऑल अदर फॉरेस्ट्री डेटा एंड एवरीथिंग लॉट्स ऑफ डेटा इज देयर यू गवर्नमेंट बेस्ड ऑन गवर्नमेंट डेटा दैट आर देयर so next is i'll just quickly show you windy.com as i told you uh, this is the uh, place where this is the site where you can see the online platform where you can see the real time uh, movement of uh, the climatic features like movement of wind these these uh, white lines that are you are uh, you can see are the winds blowing in a particular direction uh, you can zoom in this is india here some cyclonic depression is there getting created see where was it aha uh -huh. it is calm somewhere it was there here for example so when you are trying to explain the climatic conditions or features 
you can open this you can screen record this and use it for explanation just a second yes sir ha sir कर ही तो रही हूँ वह सेशन ले रही हूँ तो कैसे कर दू ना बाकी दो काम तो उनको करके दे दिया मैंने तीन दो तीन चार हाँ हाँ मैं जाऊंगी करके ठीक है हाँ हाँ ठीक है यस सो दिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ वेन्स दैट आर देयर सिमिलरली यू कैन हैव रेन एंड थंडर so where all this rain and thunder is happening then a temperature so when we explain that northern hemisphere in this during the season is having winter season and southern hemisphere is having summer season we can clearly show with the help of these uh, you know uh, pictures we can you can take a screenshot or you can screen record it while you are you know zooming in zooming out etc so it is always easier for them to understand these things then uh, you have this what i was talking about uh, was uh, uh, what else was there mm so sorry see uh, so tori is there you can log in then you have this for social science teachers see some of the contents that are there then uh, history geography and sociology some of the uh, visit gallery some of the features that the, the e content that are already existing and some of the uh, how you can utilize it templates lesson plans and more uh, then uh, visit gallery when you have some ready made uh, lessons to inspire you all these things are there uh then i was talking about what else uh, is google art and culture acha uh, google art bhi khol lete hain you can open it from here or you can log in from your open it from your uh, this thing also gmail account also while it is getting uh, you know opening it i'll just quickly uh, show you some other so this is my gmail account right and so when we click here we can open our uh, drive so here it is uh, uh, google art and culture i was talking about as lots of features are there google translate google art and culture uh, when you open this as i was telling you this is the home page what is new today zek about zek art it is this is new today for them you have places you have museums you have art you have games also then you have you can test your skill uh, then today's topics it is there some of the features what are there then uh, on this day in 1886 diego rivera was born some you know about uh, some uh, information that they will be giving this is a uh, calendar uh, you know abstract expression the paintings are this spotlight on recommended for you uh, then uh, lots of things are there 3d 3 play with the 3d model you know all these things are there museum spotlight is there then if you click on explore you have art camera you have 360 degree videos uh, you have street view uh, that what i was talking or showed you in the uh, screenshot then uh, you have uh, artists new mediums art movements historic events historical figures places then you have uh, 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 explore by time and color themes that are there a uh, lots of the collections are there popular topics you can get e content related to all these things you can play as i was telling you lots of games are there all games okay so you can explain uh, explore all these things and use it for your own creation uh, creation of your own e content i'm closing this mm.
Okay, so uh, Google Earth, yes. I can go, to, go on this too. Go to Google Earth from this also. My drive, see, here it is there, Google Earth. Otherwise, also you can open it. This is what I was talking about. You can. This is the globe form. You can zoom in till a street, you know, level. It entirely depends upon the internet connection that you have. It is good. You can quickly zoom in and see a, a clear picture. Right. Uh, what I was talking about is uh, this was the features that are there. This open got open through some other thing. Okay, so uh, Voyager is there. Uh, sub, I, what I was talking about: nature, games, layer, street view, culture, travel. So lots of things are to our time lapse in Google Earth. Then uh, fragile beauty, sources of energy warming plant, already existing videos are there or uh, photographs are there. You can utilize all these for creating your own e-content. Just give the source uh, of it so that there is no copyright issue and you can utilize these are uh, freely. You can use it freely because I mean, you can, they are free to use because uh, uh, they, are, they have uh, given it for, uh, you know, you can easily access it. Just give the uh, source of it so that there is no copyright issue. So, so many, see, so many things are there, photograph, etc. cetera, there, related to 10,000 years of volcanoes, you know, and global volcanism program. So many things are there, different topics, scenes from space. Then you have natural treasures, deserts, etc. Then you have, uh, you know, Africa, then you have, uh, tricks, then you have something that you do culture also, then unusual lakes, then wildlife, so many things are there. Rivers of India, that, that is also great city parks. Then uh, lots of lots of uh, uh, existing e content is there. You can explore from this and uh, uh, you know utilize it for your own content creation. Uh, category wise, you can see uh, culture, for example, see so many features are there then you have you can also explore travel then you have uh, education geometry of sustainable architecture geometry of castles the underground railroad etc so many features are you can utilize all these things just give the uh, so you see planetary explorations on the earth, explorers, age of encounters. Then you have helping people and animals quiz, how wind becomes electricity. All these things are there. Um, storytelling or dicey and history of medieval India. So many things are there. You can utilize all these things and create your e-content by using all these things. Beautiful pictures and videos are there for you. Then you have, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, trophy software. Oh yes, see. Explore your research photographs. Uh, download trophy for Windows. Uh, see. Lots of things there. You can store all such photographs there. A metadata sheet is created. And then, uh, you know, user guide is also there. You can go through and explore. Acha, I wanted to, what I wanted to show is, was Stellarium. See. And I'm clicking on the Stellarium web version of it. You can download it also. Uh, okay, I agree. So this is the sky view of, uh, uh, you know, of where I'm sitting, that is the NCRT campus. And I can see the sky even in during the daytime. And uh, uh, see, this is the virtual mode of uh, viewing the sky. See, atmosphere is also being seen. Okay. 
Okay. So what a C. Mercury, Venus, Sun, etc. can be seen from this place also. And uh, 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 suppose I click on this constellation C. We teach the students about constellations and we can see this. You can screen record this and you can show it or you can also click the picture and show it to uh, the students. This is uh, constellation art. See, we teach them, right? That this is uh, this and this is this and the 360 degree view is also there uh, for you know, animal, etc. It is there. How, how uh, it, it becomes a figure. It can be seen from this. Suppose the Virgo is, see how it can be seen. Beautiful. Then uh, you have this uh, atmosphere if you want to see then you have this landscape view okay then you have this uh, this is the some of the uh, projections that we you know study in geography the way it is. Acha, can you can you see something? See the satellite. This is moving. Which satellite is this? See the details of the satellite. A satellite can be seen. See, can we see something else apart from the? No. Okay, the moon is here. Jupiter, Uranus. The satellite. The satellite is moving. See. Mm. Then you have this uh, projections. Then you can see also say deep sky objects that are very far off. Uh, you have this Andromeda Nebula and some of the information about it. Then you have this uh, uh, Pleiades and some information about it. Then you have some other things you can also have see what is this which i played this is there moon mars hmm. so all these deep sky objects can also be seen uh i think else we can see then this is the night sky mode So this is there. Okay. So this was about Stellarium. Mm. Then we had this flight radar twenty four dot com. This is the real time real time flight traffic that you can see and uh, see the traffic you see see the flights are moving you can also see the flight number etc if you click on this uh, you see the flights are moving see the amount of traffic here here in the european countries see Chiti ke jaise nahi dikh rahe, ant ka jaise, line ke jaise. So uh, when you are planning for some, you know, tourism purpose or some other purpose, urban planning or something like that, this will be helpful. And uh, you know, knowing that in usual days also, some some of us use it for tracking the flights when we move from one place to another. See the amount of traffic here. Right, so this is interesting for you know children to make understand when you are talking about travel and tourism and all these things, connectivity and all. Uh, then uh, you have other general uh, generic tools like uh, uh, Audacity, Open Shot Video Editor, and uh, you know um, uh, other animation tools that you must have gone through. Like uh, 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 some of the animation tools, have you got, have you uh, learned about anybody? In these three days, three, four days, 
Any animation tool you have come across? Anybody? Any animation tool, anybody? Scratch is there, then uh, this, uh, uh, mm, mm, some one of the, uh, uh, wait, I'll tell you the app, which is there for, mm, it's a stop motion studio app that that is used for stop motion animation. So uh, have you come across that? Anybody? Uh, am I audible? Anybody has explored? Yes, anybody, anybody has explored Scratch or uh, uh, Stop Motion Studio for yes, creating animation? Yes. So that can also be used for uh, creating e-content. So uh, 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 lots of things. Uh, I'll just stop sharing. Okay. So these were some of the uh, tools that uh, are there for uh, you know creation of e-content for teaching learning of social sciences. And uh, uh, as I told you, you can take help of the photographs that are available there, or you can take the help of video clippings that are there. You just need to give the credit of it, uh, the source from where you have taken. You can add your narration, your voiceover, whatever you call it, and then you can uh, create your own e-content. So you can screen record it, you can download it, and the manner you want to take it. Could, could say, bana sakte yes, open shot. Uh, video editor is the app that uh, you can use it for creating your own videos. Uh, if you uh, do not have the access to for editing, basically for editing the video that you have recorded. Or up to smartphone, so it is very easy. A tripod, you can record the video and uh, you can use it for various purposes. Now, the states are also going to have their own uh, DTH TV channels after the budget announcement of, uh, you know, February, 2022. So, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, content banane hai states ko bhi. they have to create their own content in their own uh, language, regional language or state board. Ke se. So you can create videos using all these things that we have talked about uh, in these, uh, you know, we'll be talking about even today uh, or maybe tomorrow also. And uh, you can use them for, uh, you know, ek bar bana lenge videos to you can use it for various other purposes like for, you know, Riksha pe share kar sakte hai, DTS TV channel ke bhi jo state ke TV channels launch honne wale hai, uske liye use kar sakte hai. So anything you can uh, use them for normal teaching learning at your classrooms. So you can use them for, as a supplement. You see, these will not, you know, replace you. These cannot replace the physical no a way of mode of teaching learning, but these can definitely be uh, used in uh, supplementing or the understanding of what we have, uh, what you are trying to teach to your students. Right, in other 20 seconds, we'll be back to the main room. So, uh, you can use these things and you can create your own e-content. And especially for sensitive topics like child abuse, sexual abuse, you know, all these things, you can use, uh, make take help of e-content for explaining it to children and create e-content as well for making them understand. 